guys, welcome back to the new and improved Vinny Vlogs channel. My name is Vincent, and if this is your first time here, welcome back to the channel. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of you that are new here because this is a brand new channel, basically, kind of, kind of, you know? So if you are here, congratulations. You are a part of the inaugural, monumental Vinny Vlogs turns into a cooking channel channel <laughs> this is just a really big deal okay all right so with our first recipe i'm going to be making a meatloaf in the air fryer the air fryer is like my favorite tool it's like the most it's the bestest thing ever air fryers are that bomb okay so meatloaf let's get into it cue the music Okay, so I'm gonna give you the recipe for a normal size family. For me, I'm gonna have to multiply everything by two because I'm cooking for a huge family. There's a lot of people here, two people that eat a lot that are coming home. Also, I'm gonna type out the entire recipe in the description box so that you can follow along with me. So each loaf is gonna be a pound of ground beef. So since it's two pounds that I'm using, it's gonna be two loaves. So kind of think of it that way mathematically. Okay, so for the normal recipe, you're gonna need a pound of ground beef, a quarter of an onion. I'm gonna be using a half of an onion. I forgot to show you guys, I'm so bad at this already and it's just the first video, gosh. Also, I forgot to mention this recipe is so versatile. It does not have to be exactly what I'm using. So I have some cilantro here. You know, see that? It's actually supposed to be parsley that you use, but I can, I, Okay, let me reiterate. It's supposed to be parsley, but I switched it out for cilantro because that's because that's what I had at home. So cater this to whatever you have. It's not that deep. It's not too serious. This video is already a mess. And next up is one egg. Watch me do it with one hand. Oh, I'm so cool. I am smelling this and it smells so good. It's gonna be amazing for all the people here. Okay, next up is half a cup of breadcrumbs. This is also an instance where it's not that serious. I don't know how else to say it. So it's supposed to be breadcrumbs. I don't have breadcrumbs. I, If you know me, I'm not gonna go out to the store and buy something like breadcrumbs when I could just use saltine crackers. Okay, you can use Ritz crackers. Remember, it's half a cup for you since I'm multiplying by two. It's one whole cup. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. There's a lot of seasonings that I'm gonna put into this. You don't have to do that. Um, the first thing is gonna be garlic powder. There's not real garlic anywhere in this house. So I just substituted it with powder. <laughs> not too much. Next up, of course, salt and pepper. I go crazy with pepper. It's like an addiction. I guess it's fine. Now the next two are super optional, okay? I have basil leaves I just found. I'm gonna throw those in there. Um, oh, that smells. And then I also found like this steak seasoning thing that would go great with this. I mean, it's not like, it's not like the end of the world. This is gonna be one heck of a seasoned meatloaf. Okay, now is the fun part. This is where you cannot be a chicken. You need to get your hands and go. goodness look how beautiful this meat looks look at all the color in there look at all these vegetables it really is that simple just get some ground beef put some vegetables in there season it up and you have a meatloaf ready to go okay now follow me to the air fryer because that's the, we've reached this point okay so this is my grandpa's air fryer look at it this is not your typical air fryer typical air fryers have that pull out tray this has the racks so it maximizes cooking space this is from bell oh where in the world this is from bella pro I will link this air fryer in the description box as well as other air fryers that I think are pretty good, you know, credibility. So just look for those links down below if you want to get one. I don't have one for myself. I don't have one at home. So I'm trying to use this air fryer and, and just take advantage of it because it's truly God's blessing. It really is. So I'm going to take one of these racks and hopefully fit both of the meatloaves on it. Um, you're not going to have this issue, but unfortunately I do. This is what happens when you don't have a camera crew with you. I cannot believe we made it 
to this point. Okay, ignore all this stuff. Say hi to SpongeBob. These two beautiful things, okay, they're gonna go in the air fryer. So when you open this up, you see there's another rack in there. I'm just gonna take it out. There's also, okay, love well, that, cannot stay there. There's also a drip tray, okay? This drip tray right here is, it saves lives. This right here saves my sanity from going wild. What you're gonna see with this meatloaf thing, you know, the ground beef, it's very fatty. It's ridiculously fattening. All of the grease, the air is going to allow this to drip the fat especially since I have two humongous massive meatloaves. The drip tray is gonna be, I will show you that, it's gonna be nasty. So inside the air fryer, there are different levels that you can put this stuff in. You can put your food in. I'm just gonna put it on this rack. Actually no, this rack in the middle right here. Um, and it's, okay. And we're gonna say our prayers and hope that this meatloaf turns out good for the seven people I'm making it for including myself okay i'm gonna start this off at 375 okay that i pressed the wrong one for 20 minutes at 375 degrees okay so now that that meatloaf is cooking i'm gonna be making the sauce that goes on top the glaze looks like it's it's apparently it's irresistible and it does sound irresistible so i'm gonna make it in this little bowl and then just like drizzle it on top so 13 minutes in cooking i noticed that the tops were turning like they were charring up not like bad but i was like eh, we should probably bring it down one level okay well that was <laughs> that was not good um, we're gonna bring it down to the lowest level and look at all of that nasty grease this is why we air fry for this sauce we're gonna take some ketchup i eyeball everything i don't have exact measurements for this stuff ketchup oh wow 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 okay next up the recipe calls for a sweetener of some sort like brown sugar um, if I was at home, I would have used maple syrup, but since we don't have any of that available, I'm gonna use some honey that I found just laying around. Um, I'm gonna use three packets of this just for that sweetness. We're gonna add some garlic powder next. That looks like more than enough. And then the next one is optional. I just found it and it apparently is useful. Um, you don't have to, but just some mustard. It looks really good and it's not even blended up yet. A few moments later. And that's right in time too, because now the air fryer just ended. So this is where the next part comes up. I might have just made you think twice about eating ground beef without draining the fat. The grease just like dropped on my leg. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the sauce on top. It does not have to be perfect at all. Just kind of eyeball it, um, <laughs> my motto. Um, if you want, you can be extra and literally like paint it with that painting thing, but I don't think it's that necessary. I'm just gonna take a spoon and probably just like, you know, spread it all around. Nothing perfect, nothing to it, whatever. Why am I so good? It's so good. We're gonna do 325 degrees for around 10 minutes. We don't want to overcook this thing and make it dry or make it burnt, you know? So, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's not quite dinner time yet, but I'm just gonna like sneak, you know, a little taste in. I gotta tell you guys how this tastes. So, teeny little piece. And we're gonna try this thing. Oh. I made this. There's like a crispiness on the outside. The inside is super moist and the seasonings really do help. This is one bomb meatloaf and especially with the sauce on top it's just that sweetness that tanginess that deliciousness i just uh, if you enjoyed this video then please give this a thumbs a thumbs, a thumbs a thumbs up subscribe to the channel thanks for cooking with me and i'll see you guys next time also um follow me on my other socials yeah okay i'll see you in the next video
I forgot to say peace out. Y'all will be here with me With a man